Welcome to a Theopoetic Advent Chapel service, our final chapel service of 2022. My name is Liesl Higgins, and I am an MDiv Bethany student. A warm welcome to all of you who are gathered here in Night Carry Chapel and to those of you who are joining us on Zoom. We encourage you to activate your Zoom screens as you feel comfortable. Additionally, the bulletin for today's service has been included in the email with the Zoom link, and it is also posted in the Zoom chat. You are invited to access that for the responsive portion of our service. Our service today includes several members of the Bethany community who will be contributing, including Professor Don O'Tony Wilhelm, Geneve Baird, Julia Baker Swan, Nikki Gutierrez, and several others. Many thanks to all of you. During today's service, we will have two opportunities for candle lighting. During these portions of the service, please come forward. There's a lighter right down there, and you're invited to light the votives here or in the black candelabra on the organ. We encourage you to participate as you feel led. And now, please stand for our call to worship. The day is coming when God's house will be lifted on the highest mountain. Because God rules in wisdom and fairness. Nations will no longer go to war. Siblings will live together in unity. Come, O people of God, let us walk in the light of the Lord. God of justice and peace, from the heavens you rain down mercy and kindness that all on earth may stand in awe and wonder before your marvelous deeds. Raise our heads in expectation that we may yearn for the coming day of the Lord and stand without blame before your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing as we sing number 1034, Kindle a Flame. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, the second chapter. The word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples, they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Rebbe Baruch's grandson, Yehiel, came running into his study, tears streaming down his cheeks. Yehiel, Yehiel, what is it, my son? What's wrong? Oh, grandfather, he said, it's not fair. It's not fair. I don't care what you say. It's not fair. Yehiel, my, my young one, do you want to tell me about it? Yes, grandfather. I was playing hide and seek with my friend. It was my turn to hide, his turn to seek. But he didn't. He stopped looking for me. He didn't look for me. He gave up. He left me all alone. Rabbi oh. Baruch began to caress his grandson's cheek and tears welled in his own eyes. Yes, he whispered. God too, he healed. God too, God is hiding, and we are not looking. You understand me, Yehiel? God is hiding, and we are not looking.
A reading from the prophet Isaiah, the 35th chapter. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak, and the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Uruguayan journalist and writer Eduardo Galeano has recorded the stories of numerous political prisoners throughout his nation's history. The Uruguayan political prisoners may not talk without permission, or whistle, or smile, or sing, or walk fast, or greet other prisoners, nor may they take or receive pictures drawings of pregnant women, couples, butterflies, stars, or birds. One Sunday, Didasco Perez, a school teacher, tortured and jailed for having ideological ideas, is visited by his daughter, Millet, age five. She brings him a drawing of birds. The guards destroy it at the entrance. On the following Sunday, Millet brings her father a drawing of trees. Trees are not forbidden, and the drawings get through. Didasco praises her work and asks about the colored circles scattered in the treetops, many small circles half hidden among the branches. Are they oranges? What fruit is it? The child puts her finger to her lips. Shh. And she whispers in his ear, Silly, don't you see their eyes? Eyes of the birds that I've smuggled in for you.
A reading from the prophet Isaiah, the 35th chapter. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come up upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there, and the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Please pray with me. We pray for the places in our world and in our lives that are dry and barren. We pray for those who are stressed and burdened by the demands of the end of this semester. We pray for those who experience weakness and infirmity. We pray for those who are fearful and live without security. We pray for those who are blind and deaf to the needs of others. We pray for those who weep and for those who cause their weeping. We pray for those who have reason to sing and dance with joy. We pray for the long-awaited one, Jesus Christ, who will come in hope and glory. Hear our prayer, O oh God. Amen. Please stand and join in singing, Will You Come and Sing the Light? The light of God's love shines brightly now. Remember, the flame of God's justice leads you now.
And the power of God's love frees you now.